Hello fellow YouTubers, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video, over two years now, and I thought I would give you a boat update. I'm not green. So, yes, George. So, I'm not green. so here is the boat, a boat I bought uh, in 2020. Uh, this is a picture of pretty much how I got the boat. And I'm not trained. Yes, George, we'll do your train data. I'm not how, sorry, how I got the boat. Uh, you can see it has not a bimini but a spray guard, which I did not like at all. Um, and there's some other things I also wasn't too happy with that I wanted to change overall. Um, the main thing, the hull and the engine of the boat, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with. So we'll probably never change those. Well, I can't, I suppose. Um, at least not the hull. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Right here is a picture of my previous boat uh, that I ended up selling because the Sea Ray, I, I guess I didn't get to use it as often as I thought I would and because of that um, it really didn't make sense to have this second boat lying around so yes I ended up selling this one. Okay so back to the Sea Ray. Um, Right here uh, is a picture of the first and I would say vital modification. It was just ditching that spray guard and upgrading to a stainless steel bimini. Um, as you can see here, it has a stays at the back um, and the front you, you secure with a webbing um, that, you, that you can tighten accordingly. And this just made the experience a lot more um, I would say less claustrophobic and I don't know it just gives the whole boat a more of a boat feel okay so after the Bimini mod I uh, yeah I kept on using the boat I think last time I used it quite a bit um, we're actually in winter here right now because I'm in the southern hemisphere um, and one thing that's just bothered me was these back-to-back -back seats um, in the cockpit. They, they just, I don't know, they, they just sort of, it was just kind of like annoying having someone sit right behind you on the one side. Um, another issue is the storage underneath was sort of very, un, like, very awkward to get to. Um, and yeah, I just thought swivel seats would be much, just a lot nicer, um, and also give you a little bit more, a little bit more sp space. Like the way you walk around the boat is sort of kind of awkward. So yeah, here you can see these are the swivel seats for the front that I've ordered. Um, it took actually quite a long time for them to arrive. Um, like literally months. Um, once they arrived, I actually installed them myself, which I'm quite proud of. Um, I yeah, I really researched how to screw it in properly and seal it up. I used a polyurethane for that. Um, and yeah, another added benefit of these seats is not only do they swivel, um, but they also have a a bolster. I'm gonna show that to you in the next picture. And here is a close-up of the of one of the swivel seats. Um, you can see how the you can obviously see here how the um, flip-up bolster is integrated. Obviously, in the down position now, uh, and it generally is. Yeah, it's more. I would say also more. Not only does it look better, but also more comfortable um, than those back-to-back -back chairs. And addition, and finally, what's probably most important is that it allows for my I suppose final big modification I want to perform to the boat, um, which I'm going to explain 
now with another picture. So here you can see the final section of the boat I would like to modify. Um, you can see here the setup is two jump seats on either side of the um, stern of the boat and a really awkward like T-shaped sun pad which is really not practical at all. Um, and then the engine is has a um, you know has a sort of an engine cover gloss that's that's out of glass fiber. And the goal is here to actually remove all of this basically that you see um, and surround the engine with a kind of a box like construction um, that would provide a large like rectangular sun pad um, and then in front of it a um, a bench a bench that would stretch the beam of the boat. Here finally there is a diagram of the plan that I have for the boat. So on the left depicts uh, the boat as it currently uh, is set up and to the right it's the modification that I'd like to perform. Um, I am in discussion with a with a, well, a boatyard or shipyard um, to help me perform this modification. They say it is possible. Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, should be should be performed um, hopefully this or next month. And yeah, I'm a bit nervous about the outcome, but um, it's something that I think would, you know, would would really help um, would really help improve the setup and just the experience on the boat. I hope this video was helpful to some of you that are possibly interested in these older sea rays and um, I read every single comment so please comment away.